If you're like me and you use the prototyping tool in Figma a lot, then you're gonna love this new update that they just came out with. It allows you to actually add interactions between your components, which wasn't really doable before, unless you created dozens of pages, uh, depending on how many interactions you needed. But now, using the interactions with components, it's super easy to add those fine details to your prototypes that really showcases what your project would look like. Let's jump in and I'll show you how you can use interactive components in your projects. All right, so right here I have a UI opened up for a mobile app uh, for an e-commerce uh, website. Now it has several buttons, uh, such as the one over here on the login page. So it was always a struggle to be able to add interactions with the components, uh, such as this login button over here um, to show whether you're hovering over it, or in this case, because it's a mobile app, if you're tapping on it or not. So in the prototype, usually we wouldn't have those functionalities or capabilities unless we created different uh, frames for each state so uh so that that would mean you know duplicating this one login frame just to showcase uh, the button changing and leaving everything else the same which is not very efficient at all but thankfully figma has come out with interactive components which is super simple to actually get started with and here's how you do it first step we're going to want to go ahead and create uh, a variant for our buttons so if you haven't done so Make sure you go ahead and create a button and turn that button into a component. Now, if you don't know how to do that, simply go ahead and create, uh, let's say a rectangle for your button. Add a text by pressing the T key on your keyboard. We're gonna go ahead and center those and we're gonna go ahead and just change the border radius of this rectangle to 20. Let's try 15, I think that's better. And we're gonna go ahead and just change the fill to a purple color and the font to a white color. So now that we have these two, we're gonna select them both and go up here where it says create a component. And now that button is a component. Now I already have a button component down here, so I don't really need it. But if you just have the single button over here, you wanna go ahead and click on the plus sign over here to add a new variant. Once you've done that, uh, for one of your buttons over here, you wanna go ahead and create a status property like I've done so here. So you can do that by simply clicking the entire button variant group over here, changing this text, uh, which is usually property one to status. So of course type status over here. And now I have one as default and the other one, which is the second one here as tapped. So essentially I want my second button to be the tapped color. So once they tap on the button, I want it to change to this color instead, which is a little bit darker. So if you haven't done so, go ahead and add a bit of a darker background, uh, which is usually what I like to mimic the tapping of that button. And now if you go ahead and actually switch over to the prototype tool, you can go ahead and add an interaction by dragging this little circle to this button over here. And now instead of on click, because we don't want it to change while the user's clicking on it, but rather we want to go ahead and do it while the user's pressing on it. So while the user's pressing, we want to go ahead and change this button to the tap button, uh, which is this one over here. And we want the animation to be instant, so we don't want it to um, you know, dissolve or do a smart animate here. But we could do so uh, for things such as checkboxes or toggles and things like that uh, if you want an animation as well, or even hover states. So I can go ahead and now close this over here. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my login page. And now I'm gonna go ahead and run it in the presentation tool. And now as you can see, if I go to my button and click on it or tap on it in this case, uh, it would go ahead and change color. And then when I let go, it would go ahead and go back to the previous color. This is awesome. Exactly what you're looking for in a prototyping tool um, which Figma provides. Now, if you want to learn more about prototyping, I have a full course on that in my web and mobile UI UX course, which I'll be leaving the link down in the comments below. Here's another example on how you can actually use interactive components. If I go down here, I have a page, a checkout page in this UI kit that I have open. And you can go ahead and actually see there are radio buttons over here where you can select the payment method. 
Now I've created these radio buttons over here, one with the state being selected and the other one being not selected. And so now what you can do is simply head on to the prototype and you can go ahead and create an interaction from the unselected one to the selected one and then do on click, which is by default selected, change to the selected one. And then we want to do the reverse, which is create an interaction between the selected one to the not selected one so that when the user taps on it, it will go ahead and uncheck or unselect that radio button. And so now this should work as expected. So if you go ahead and click this page and run in the prototype tool, you see my radio buttons are now working as expected. I can check or uncheck them, which is awesome. Now, if you want to add a little bit of an animation, you can even go ahead and go back here and do smart animate. And we'll do the same thing over here. And let's see what we get now. I'm gonna run the same page in prototyping tool. And as you can see, it will do a little bit of a fade, which is pretty cool. And there you have it. That's how you add interactive components uh, to your Figma prototypes. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for joining us and I'll see you later. All right. Thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future UI UX videos. Also, if you're interested in learning how to design full complete mockups for both mobile and web, I've made a six hour complete design course with Figma and you can check that out in the link below. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next video here at Clever Studio.